Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. We're going to talk about a very important aspect and we're going to talk about vitamin B12. Vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is also known as a cabalamin. Cabalamin. Cabalamin that is a vitamin B12. And it is a very essential what we call a very essential water soluble uh, vitamin that play, plays a very important role or a crucial role in various body functions. So on the overview of uh, B12, vitamin B12, uh, I'm going to mention some of its uh, role in our body. Number one, about the function, uh, vitamin B12 is, is involved in the production of the red blood cells, DNA synthesis and neurological function, and the metabolism of fats and uh, uh, proteins. So it helps to maintain the health of the nerve cells and also the brain function. Number two is about food sources where we can get uh, vitamin B12. Uh, vit vitamin B12 is naturally found in animals, products such as meat, fish, poultry, eggs and dairy products. On plant-based sources of vitamin B12 are very rare. It's not uh, very common with the plants. But fort fortified foods like uh, breakfast cereals plant-based milk alternatives and nutritional yeast may contain synthetic form of uh, vitamin B12. About the absorption of vitamin B12, uh, it requires a protein called intrinsic factor produced by the stomach for absorption in the small intestine. So normally it is absorbed in the small intestine uh, with the, this intrinsic factor. Now, and the certain factors such as age, gastrointestinal uh, disorders, and the medication can affect how this vitamin B12 uh, is uh, absorbed in our body. On the, on the deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to anemia, fatigue and weakness, neurological symptoms such as tingling or numbness or in hands and feet, difficulty in concentration, mood changes and memory problems can also come up, and long-term deficiency can cause irreversible nerve damage. Uh, groups at risk for vitamin B12 uh, uh, deficiency include older adults, vegans or vegetarians who don't consume fortified foods or supplements, individuals with gastrointestinal disorders such as Crohn's disease or celiac disease, and those who have undergone certain surgeries such as gastric bypass, bypass uh, surgery. So suppl on supplementation for individuals at risk of deficiency, or confirmed deficiency, vitamin B12 supplements may be recommended. These supplements are in various forms, including tablets, capsules, sublingual tablets, and also injections. Uh, healthy benefits of vitamin B12, adequate intake of B12 supports the overall health, including the cardiovascular health, and also cognitive function, mood regulation, and energy uh, metabolism. On monitoring, regular monitoring of B12 levels, uh, can uh, is recommended for individuals at risk of uh, deficiency or those with conditions affecting the uh, absorption. So vitamin B12 is a vital nutrient with numerous functions in the body. It is important to consume adequate amounts of, uh, in, of vitamin B12 through diet or supplementation to support the overall health and prevent health-related uh, complications. If you have concerns about your level or vitamin B12 status, Consult with the healthcare provider for uh, for advice and also guidance. Uh, how does one know that uh, you have signs of uh, vitamin B12 uh, deficiency? So vitamin B12 deficiency uh, uh, leads to various signs and symptoms, which can range from mild to severe. And here are some common signs of uh, vitamin B12 deficiency. Number one is about fatigue persistent tiredness and lack of energy when after taking adequate rest. Number two is about weakness. Generalized weakness and muscle tingling or fatigue can be uh, another problem. Anemia. Vitamin B12 can cause megaloblastic anemia, characterized by large red blood cells that are unable to function properly, leading to things like a pale or jaundiced skin, shortness of breath, dizziness of or lightheadedness, rapid heart, heartbeats. Number four is about neurological symptoms. So vitamin B12 deficiency can affect the nervous system, leading to neurological functions. And how do you know somebody has neurological uh, problems? 
uh, we have tingling or numbness of the hands and feet, what we call paresthesia, difficulty in walking or maintaining balance, where we have ataxia, like someone who walks like uh, has taken a halco, uh, what we call ataxia, muscle weaknesses, memory problems, cognitive impairment, depression or changes, a depression or a mood changes can also come in, and also vision changes. And also on gastrointestinal symptoms, some individuals with vitamin B12 uh, deficiency may experience loss of appetite, nausea, constipation, and diarrhea. Number six is about mouth and tongue changes. Deficiency can cause uh, inflammation of the tongue, what you call glossitis, uh, mouth ulcers, or, um, uh, or uh, smooth and red tongue can also come up. Also on the nails, we have uh, bleto, uh nails where the nails become very weak to break. The weak, brittle, rich nails may indicate vitamin B12 deficiency. Hair changes where one with the B12 uh, deficiency may experience some individuals may experience hair loss or uh, changes in hair in color to, due to the deficiency. Mood changes can come in, irritability, mood swings or feeling of anxiety or depression can crop in uh, at this particular point. Number 10, symptoms of in, uh, in, in children and also infants. In severe cases, infants or and young children with vitamin B12 deficiency may experience developmental delays, failure to thrive, or neurological problems. It is important uh, uh, to note that the symptoms of vitamin B12 can vary uh, widely among individuals and may develop gradually over time. If you experience any of these uh, symptoms, especially if you are at risk of, of, of uh, the deficiency, especially if you are a vegan or a vegetarian, older adults or having gastrointestinal disorders or you have done that bypass, uh, it's important to consult with the medical provider to evaluate the, the way of management because early detection of the deficiency can, can, can really approach the complications and improve overall health we well-being. On the part of the management, Managing vitamin B12 deficiency typically involves addressing the underlying cause and replenishing the vitamin B12 levels through supplementation and uh, or, uh, or dietary changes. And some strategies which you can employ to supplement this is about vitamin B12 supplements. The most common and effective way to treat vitamin B12 deficiency is through supplementation. Vitamin B12 supplementation are, are in various forms including oral tablets, sublingual tablets, nasal sprays and injections. The appropriate dosage and form of supplementation, of supplementation will be determined by the need of an individual. Dietary changes. Increasing intake of foods rich in B12 can, increase the, can help in, improve levels in individuals with deficiencies as a preventive measure. So sources of vitamin B12 include meat, fish, eggs, dairy products, fortified foods such as breakfast cereals, and plant-based uh, milk alternatives and nutritional yeasts. Number three is about intramuscular injections as a way of management. In the case of severe form of uh, uh, this uh, problem of uh, deficiency, we have special injections where one is, uh, is uh, given this injection, uh, typically administered either weekly or monthly depending on the severity of deficiency uh, and also the, the response uh, from the individual. Also, monitoring, uh, regular monitoring of vitamin B12 levels and symptoms is essential to assess, to assess the effectiveness of treatment or adjust uh, the strategies accordingly. To help uh, uh, providers may, may recommend periodic blood tests to track the B12 levels and ensure that they remain within the optimal range. Lifestyle modifications, making lifestyle uh, modifications such as uh, quitting smoking, Reducing alcohol intake and managing stress can overall help uh, in the absorption and the utilization of uh, vitamin B12. Number eight is about consultation with the healthcare provider. Very important, work closely with the healthcare provider to develop an appropriate plan for individuals who need to monitor the progress and address any concerns or complications that may arise uh, at that particular point. So by addressing or by managing the deficiency and also doing the supplementation, dietary changes, addressing underlying causes, individuals with the, can improve their B12 levels to alleviate the symptoms and prevent complications associated with the, the deficiency. 
So regular monitoring and ongoing management are very essential uh, for optimal uh, vitamin B12 and overall uh, health of an individual. So on the part of the complications, we we have uh, some complications which can come up with a B12 deficiency in the body. If go if we go, it goes untreated, and uh, it can it can be very detrimental at uh, some point. Number one complication is anemia, uh, where we talked about megaloblastic anemia, where the red blood cells are formed poorly and they are very much enlarged, which they, and this can lead to anemia, where now one has for a lot of fatigue, weakness, shortness of breath, and also pale or jaundiced skin. Neurolog on the neurological problems, we have vitamin B12 uh, as a crucial uh, thing in the nervous system. We can develop uh, what we call peripheral neuropathy with numbness or tinkling or weakness of hands and feet. Ataxia may come in where difficulty in walking, balancing problems and unsteadiness comes in. Cognitive impairments where we have now memory loss coming in. Confusion, difficulty in concentrating and dementia-like uh, symptoms. Psychiatric symptoms where we have now depression, anxiety, irritability, and mood uh, disturbances. Number three uh, complications about cardiovascular complications. Vitamin B12 have been linked to increase the risk of cardiovascular problems, uh, including heart uh, disease, stroke, and elevated uh, levels of homocytin and amino acid, amino acid associated with cardiovascular uh, risk. On gastrointestinal issues as a complication, where now one develops uh, what we call glossitis or inflammation of the tongue, mouth ulcers, digestive discomfort, and weight loss. Optical nerve damage can come up as a complication of B12 uh, deficiency, which uh, because it affects the optical nerve, leading to vision problems and optical neuropathy. Also, we have uh, pregnancy complications where we can have uh, severe or prolonged prolonged uh, deficiency during pregnancy can lead to complications such as neuro, neuro, neuro tube defects, preterm birth, low birth weight and the developmental delays in babies. Bone health with B12 deficiency it has been associated with what we call osteoporosis or is to break of the bones and or possibly due to error in the bone metabolism and homocytin uh, levels. Number eight is about increased susceptibility for infections, B12 can weaken the immune uh, deficiency can weaken the immune system, making individuals susceptible for infections and also illnesses. Also, impairment in wound healing. We have poor uh, healing of the wounds if we have a deficiency of B12, so the body is able is not able to repair uh, and regenerate tissues, leading to impairment and the poor uh, healing and susceptibility to skin infection. Mental health disorders and treated with vitamin B12 deficiency may contribute to the development of exacerbation of mental health disorders, including depression, anxiety, and also unfortunately psychosis. It's very important uh, that we address the vitamin B12 promptly to prevent or mitigate this uh, complication. Treatment typically involves B12 supplementation and, and, and addressing the underlying cause of the deficiency. Regular monitoring and follow up with the healthcare provider to ensure optimal management and long-term uh, uh, complications. So on the prevention part of it, uh, eat a balanced diet is a way of preventing it. Uh, and when we talk about, we talked about if you are a vegan, you are, it's very unfortunate that you are not going to get a good, uh, good uh, combination. So it is good also you get uh, eat a balanced diet, especially we are talking about meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy products, fortified foods like uh, breakfast cereals and blood-based milk uh, alternative. Chips with B12 is very important that you get them in your diet. Number two, consider supplementation is very important, uh, where now you can choose a repeatable supplement with the appropriate dosage as guided by your healthcare provider. Fortified foods. Incorporate fortified foods into your diet, such as fortified cereals, blood-based uh, milk alternatives, nutritional yeasts, and meat uh, substitutes, so that uh, you get this uh, uh, B12 uh, in your diet. Manage underlying conditions. If you have gastrointestinal disorder, disorders, such as pernicious anemia, monitor your B12 levels over, as overall health thing. 
discuss any concerns and symptoms which may be related to B12 deficiency. Avoid excessive consumption as a way of prevention it's because this, uh, this, the alcohol and the, the smoking uh, inhibit absorption of B12 in our body. Educate yourself. Uh, learn about signs and symptoms of B12 deficiency risk which may be predispose you to deficiency. This knowledge can help you identify potential issues early and take appropriate uh, measures. Pregnant on the pregnant and the breastfeeding mothers, pregnant and breastfeeding women should ensure adequate uh, uh, intake of uh, this B12 for their own health and discuss the supplementation with the healthcare provider because it's deficient like we mentioned can cause uh, those uh, defects on the body and also affect the development of the baby at that particular point. And also stress management and health lifestyle. Practice stress management techniques, prioritize adequate sleep, and maintain a healthy lifestyle to support overall uh, health and optimize uh, nutrition, uh, nutrient absorption. By incorporating these preventive strategies into your daily routine, uh, you can reduce the risk of P12 deficiency and make optimal health and well-being. If you have specific concerns for deficiency, consult the healthcare provider for personalized guidance and recommendation guys. So, in summary, guys, uh, preventing uh, vitamin B12 deficiency involves ensuring adequate intake of B12 through diet, supplementation, and addressing the underlying uh, factors that may impair absorption or utilization of the vitamin. So, key points to note is about diet resources uh, such as meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy products, and fortified foods as a source of, uh, diet, of your dietary B12. Supplementation is very important. Consider supplement if you are at risk of this, uh, uh, of this. and all of that restriction may limit the B12 rich foods. Fortified foods, very important, incorporate uh, fortified foods in your in nutrition, also nutritional yeast to supplement your diet. Manage underlying conditions, uh, address the gastrointestinal uh, disorders because we got that B12 is absorbed in the small intestines so if you have those disorders always monitor your B12 and also supplementation can be of help with the help of your healthcare provider to help you as much as uh, possible. Regular monitoring, change your health checkups to monitor vitamin B12 and overall health, avoid excessive alcohol and smoking uh, to the, because they affect the way it is absorbed. On the pregnancy and the breastfeeding, ensure B12 intake during pregnancy and the breastfeeding for maternal and the fetal health. Stress management and lifestyle change, uh, lifestyle management. So practice stress management, prioritize sleep and maintain healthy lifestyle for overall health and also absorption. By implementing these preventive measures, you decrease you decrease the, your your level of having the deficiency. So by preventing uh, vitamin B12 deficiency for maintaining overall wealth be, uh, of, of our well-being is a key strategy, strategy uh, by including uh, things like uh, uh, taking that dietary source of uh, B12 so that uh, taking the supplementation following up uh, with your healthcare provider is a very great is of a great importance to us. So regular monitoring of B12 levels and consulting with the healthcare provider uh, for personal guidance and also an essential components of preventive care. By taking proactive steps to uh, prevent vitamin B12 deficiency, in individuals can safeguard the health and the vitality uh, for long-term uh, well-being of an individual. Guys, this is Nazbin. Kindly if you have not subscribed to our channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe, like the video. By liking it, you, you get YouTube to recommend to the uh, larger population. And kindly, if you have not clicked that uh, notification bell, please uh, click it so that when uh, we upload another video, you can always uh, get a notification and get to watch. Nazvin channel is where we get to discuss matters serious medical but in a simple language which you can, we can always understand or anybody can always understand. You don't need to be a medic to understand this. Because this medical knowledge is for a larger population and we need to share it as in a simple language 
as much as we can. Let me know your comments down below. Let me know your concerns uh, in our DM so that we make this channel as friendly as possible. Guys, welcome and welcome to our next video. Peace, guys. We love you very much.